everybody welcome to my channel this is my food haul as you can see I went to Ocado so I didn't really want to go to Ocado and I'm not really happy with my shop even I got a free um, delivery pass and I just thought I'd use it I don't really know why yeah I just didn't really like it this week usually I love Ocado I love the different things they do but I'm not happy this week at all um, but I'll show you everything I've got I also got a fruit and veg box from Abel and Cole so I'll show you that too sorry for my rocking oh look she's just trying to go to sleep um, but thank you so much for watching and I'll show you everything now so I'm very sorry for my washing machine but this is everything I got um, and it's not £116 worth of stuff at all I'm really not happy with it I got these pyjamas for Flossie because my brother bought um, Lilac some a baby grow which was 3 to 6 months so these should fit Flossie now they are 2 to 3 they are a little bit big but if I get her like 18 to 24 it just doesn't really fit very well um, and yeah this was the next size up so yeah I got her these and hopefully her and Lila can both wear them and they were in the sale they were like £5.40 so I got lots of yogurts for the children and um, I wanted to get them drinking yogurts but I couldn't see any so these were 10 for £4 so I just went for a selection of um, different ones it's hard to choose when you've got so many children so you know they can't even share them out fairly and then I just got some normal yogurts which um, are strawberry and banana and they were two for £2.50. I got a stir fry meal deal which comes with a big vegetable packet, some egg noodles, some sauce, so I chose sweet and sour, and some chicken. Um, or you can choose like different things. And then I also bought some more egg noodles because this one just not be enough for all of us. I got this beef because me and guys tried a different one last week um, and this was in the flush sale so it was still £2.75 and um, yeah it's still quite expensive but last week we thought it was so delicious and um, so I got a different one to try because it popped up in my flush sale thank you baby I got a bread um, this one I had a coupon for for I think it's really usually £1.95 something like that let me have a look it's usually £2 and I got it for £1.50 with my coupon um, these crisps were three for four pounds. So the children love pom bears, and you can't normally get all these flavours in every supermarket, I'm sure. So I've got some salt and vinegar, cheese and onion, and original. I don't think you can normally get salt and vinegar. So dinners, I found quite hard to think of. I got a mince meat because it's always a good price, and um, there's so much you can do with it. And then I got two packets of chicken breast, but that was literally all they had. I'll see if they're still out of stock. But all of their chicken was like out of stock. So my mince was five pound ninety-five. It is five percent fat, so I really like that. And my chicken was two for eight pounds. This was £3.45. So me and Curtis love these. They were four for five pounds. So I've got two latte ones and two mocha ones. And then I've not tried this before. We I've said before I love having yogurt with like um honey and nuts and stuff. These were two for five pounds and they're like a baked milk. I don't even know what that means. Um, and then I got some eggs which were £2.30 I got this salt which was £2.50 and we absolutely love this salt I would not get any other salt um, I'm going to go and grab Lilac in a second she's crying um, some more milk powder for Lilac she has a bottle at bedtime yeah it's £14 and she really enjoys it yeah we probably use like one a month right the easiest way for me to finish this haul is going to be like this because she's really fussy she's usually really good but she's really fussy um, so I got these um, wrap uh, spices because one night the children are gonna have McDonald's so I thought me and Curtis could have wraps with the other packet of chicken so I got a Jamaican jerk and a sizzling ticker two for £1.50 so these were £4.50 for both of them and it is a gut loving granola I chose cocoa and hazelnut and then you also got peanut butter so I chose a crunchy peanut butter because my loves peanut butter um, so I think he will like that I got a cider and horseradish mustard um, it says maybe of English cider and whole grain mustard so it sounds really nice I was going to do it with beef but I didn't end up getting the beef so it was a bit pointless in the end that was £2.20 and then I got some dishwasher tablets I usually go for finish but I just didn't want to spend that much money on them this week I wanted like more eco sort of tablets and they're just like and wrappers like that and that so I'm not happy with them either at all um, I thought this sounded so nice so it's a new Glade and it's pumpkin spice latte just sounds really nice and that was £3.75 for the uh, attachment and the smell so I can't wait to try that and then I got some shower gel for Curtis which was £2 
I got some for myself, which was two pounds. I love Dove. I think like their oh. stuff just smells like so fresh. And then I got a hand soap for the toilet, which is blueberry and water lily. And then I got some Halloween bits, which probably cost a bit of the money, I guess, like why my shopping came to a bit more. Um, so these goo heads, I don't know what's inside, but it just looked like something I want to eat. Just as a soft fondant center. Um, yeah, so they will be delicious because they're Cadbury's. They were £2.20. And um, I got these cups. It was like, if you bought two things, you got 20% off. So I bought these cups. They were £2. And then a table cover, £2.40. And um, because we always do things um, at Halloween, like, um, I just, we decorate a little bit. Um, it's not quite like America here, like, we dress up, we go trick or treating. But, well, the children dress up, adults that dress up, um, go trick or treating, but it's definitely not the same as America. Like, the adults don't really dress up. Um, I, like, I know, like, my brother lives in America, he's 14, and he went trick or treating and came back with, like, more sweets than you can imagine. Whereas it's just not like that here. You come back, you come back with lots of sweets, but it's just not the same. Um, but at home, I usually bake some, like, Halloween themed stuff and, um, yeah, we do like some activities and stuff like that. So we always have a really nice time at home. I got some spider in webs, which was two pounds. And I got this game, it was only two pounds, I'm sure, yeah. Um, and it's like, stick the spider on the web. So do you know like when you have to get it, like the closest you can, then you win a prize. Um, so we'll all play that. And this, I thought it was a big bean matter, but it's tiny. <laughs> It was six pounds. I'm so unhappy with it. I think I'm going to email them and just say, um, can I send it back next week, please? Because my children aren't going to like, I can't like show you, you know how big a hand soap is. He's like the size of it. He's tiny and six pounds. When I look back now, it says mini, but I didn't read it properly. And six pounds how much a pinyard is normally or maybe I, i've just never bought one for maybe i don't know they're like double that normally but he's flipping tiny hey. no i don't want him he's adorable but i don't want him um yeah so that's everything for my food shop really unhappy with all of it um but i'm going to show you my box from abel and cole because i'm really happy with that so i'll show you that now i'm really sorry about the washing machine i hope it's actually not too noisy in my video it's got five minutes left um, I got this as well, which I'm happy with. It was four pounds, and it's M&S. It's a light-up lantern with a green tea light and hot chocolate. I think if that's true, that's really good for four pounds because you can use a tin as decoration, and it's got like a hangy thing. <laughs> Hang on, we will find out. Okay, yeah, it's really nice. So we have some hot chocolate. So it's drinking chocolate. We are, oh, it's cute. Uh, so, oh, it's really nice, I like it. So, it's like this. And then, see the green lights? Looks really good. So, I'm gonna show you all the bits I got in my fruit and veg box. Usually it's 29 pounds, I think, and this week it was 15, because I got my first and second for 50% off. So, I got, Two bags of Rocket. I love Rocket. So I'm really, really happy with Rocket. I think it's so nice. A bag of potatoes. Bear in mind, like, everything's organic. Um, a bag of potatoes. I got quite a lot of kale. I got a pineapple, some plum tomatoes, some watermelon radishes, I think they're called. A butternut squash, two red peppers, a box of grapes, I got kiwis, we did get five. Horatia really wanted kiwis as well, so that was perfect. And I think this is a cabbage. I'm gonna have to double check, but I think it's cabbage. So yeah, that's all the bits in my fruit and veg box. I also got my milk with them as well, because this is what we've been getting. Because it's not homogenized, um, and it's the best place I could find around for it. And it is much more expensive, but we're really happy with it. So we get three blues two greens and a red so everybody that is everything for my food shop i am not happy with my shop i'm happy with my abel and cold delivery though um so i'm going to tell you my dinners for the week i found it really stressful doing the food shop this week finally the washing machine stopped i've turned the tv off because we've been watching for ages and now i'm just going to tell you my dinners for the week so i'm going to do pork chops we didn't have them last week with rice last week's dinners were really disjointed as well 
We just didn't have what we were supposed to have. It wasn't very good. Um, wraps, me and Curtis will have the jerk, Jamaican jerk um, wraps with the boys have McDonald's for my dad, which will be tomorrow, today, when you're watching. Uh, stir fry, I think I'm going to do that tonight. Um, a shepherd's pie, because I've still got my lamb mince in the freezer. Mince meat and gravy, tuna pasta, and chicken nuggets, which I'm going to make myself. They're all my dinners for the week. So our oven is still broken. We're going to look into buying another one, because we obviously need another, another oven, and I don't want to buy another element, and then we're going to have to replace it again. It's just so pointless. But the good thing is that... A few days before my oven went, didn't realise what a lifesaver it was going to be. And um, I actually am going to work with a brand and they've sent me an air fryer to do some meals in and it has absolutely saved me. It's been amazing. Yes, yeah, so I've been doing most of my dinners in that, so it's been amazing help. Hopefully I will get my video for them up this week, I'm hoping. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching. We had a lovely weekend. We just went for a walk in the woods on Saturday and sunday we had a really nice relaxed day at home we watched a film we played some games and and we went to shop and got some snacks so yeah it was really peaceful i was feeling really really good today finally lilac settled but i feel like everything's just calmed down and i'm done so that is everything thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it i'm sorry it's really disjointed but i thought i can't just stop and come back i just need to do what i'm doing so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please subscribe to my channel and stick around to stay with my family. And hopefully I will see you on my next video. You from the first time I saw ya. You were not like the others. A cool kind of melody. You rattled my cage without warning. Kept it up right till the morning. A new kind of ecstasy. You found a different side of me